It's build day, folks. In today's video, we will be building a 12 GPU RX 6600 mining rig. Today's video is sponsored by GPURisers.com. Go over to GPURisers.com today for all your crypto mining hardware needs. They sell everything from risers to splitters to frames to thermal pads to fans and even hard drives. Huge shout out to GPURisers.com for sponsoring this video and making this build possible. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, today is build day and I am super excited. I don't know about you guys, but I love GPU mining build days. If I could build a mining rig every day, I would be thrilled. I feel like that's a new job that I need. I need to, I need to go down the career path of working for a professional GPU mining farm just so I could build rigs every day because I love it. Well, we have 12 of our 6600s, nine 6600s directly, and then three of the 6600 XTs. And today we're gonna go through the build pretty quickly, uh, but we'll go ahead and explain things along the way, the hardware we're using, the steps we're taking, and why we're doing them. And then we'll go ahead and get this thing up and running and finally mining some Ethereum. So let's go ahead and dive into today's build. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. So we are going to be installing the motherboard first. Uh, the motherboard does have an Intel Celeron uh, G series processor, and we are running uh, some XPG memory on here. Nothing too crazy and off brand, uh, but guess what? It's eight gigs and it does the trick, which is awesome. So we are gonna go ahead and get this installed. Uh, we do need to install the anchors that we do have here. By the way, huge shout out to Red Fox Crypto for recommending a screw case like this. I love it. I'm way too organized now, but these things are amazing. Uh, I have definitely become an organization Nazi at this point uh, with my screws, but it, it works out perfectly. So anyways, motherboard, we're gonna get installed with the anchors. We then also are going to get our fans installed. These are the 120 millimeter GPRisers.com fans. We have eight of these, uh, four and four that we're gonna put in. We're also gonna install uh, early on now the solid state drive. I do have this already flashed and good to go. If you guys have never flashed a uh, solid state drive before with Hive OS, I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner and down below. It is, and I labeled it perfectly, the ultimate guide to installing Hive OS. We go over the solid state drive and also go over a USB drive too. So go ahead and check that out. I'll put that down there for you guys. So let me go ahead and get these items done. Fans came together, awesome. You mount them on the outside of these frames here. And I cannot wait. So this part here you guys can see is actually the LED ring that actually lights up, which is gonna be so cool. Uh, so we have our four across the top. We have our, our Molex cables coming down, sneaking between, and then take a look. All daisy chain, daisy chain together. And then this last one here will plug right into our power supply. So definitely have to do some cable management here. We're not gonna leave these like this, uh, but we'll definitely have to get that cleaned up and, and in a really good spot once we're all done and ready to go. So let's move on to power. And in my last video, I made a large oversight and I'm so happy that the community actually reached out, commented, shot me some Discord messages like, hey, your EVGA Supernova 1000G Plus is awesome but it's not gonna have enough PCI connectors, 12, in order to accomplish what we want. So yes, it will accomplish 1,000 watts, awesome. 
but we're not gonna have enough PCI connectors. So this is why you have extra parts sitting around. We have a number of power supplies over here sitting around ready to go. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab, it's 1200 watts, totally overkill. We don't need 2200 watts for this rig in any way, but that's what we got and we're good to go. A uh, nice platinum rated one, which is awesome. Uh, so if you guys are in need, I'll put a link down below to this because I skipped this in the last video, didn't have it. 1200 watt HP power supply, breakout board, and PCI cables as needed. Uh, and then of course we have our gprisers.com splitters. Check those out, so cool. And uh, there, so our next step is to get power done. So I'm just gonna get the power supply installed and also this power supply installed. I'm gonna wait to install any PCI cables until we have our GPUs installed. So I'll see you guys back here in just a moment. Power supplies are in. Look at all of these connections. I love this 1000G plus is amazing. We have our 1200 watt power supply installed. We've just kind of flipped around the entire rig from what you guys are looking at. So what's next? So we got a whole bunch of GPU riser packs that we do have to go ahead and unpack. We'll do that in just a minute. And then we have our GPUs. Now I haven't even thought about how I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out quite yet. Um, because we have a lot of pairs, you know, two of the XFX, two of the Azrock Challengers, I'll probably put them side by side um, the way that we'll lay this out. Um, but a lot of GPUs, 12 total that we're gonna pack into this. Now I am lucky because of the fact that the 6600s do run rather cool, don't use a lot of watts. So let's get our GPU risers unpacked and let's get installing our graphics cards. And there we have it. So we did six PCI cables over here off of our breakout board. And if you guys are like, oh, I wish you would have shown step-by-step. Step. Guys, I have a full like hour long video, step-by-step step on how to build a mining rig. I'm gonna put a link in the upper right hand corner and down below. If that's what you're looking for, please go ahead and check that out. It literally walks you through every little step. So anyways, six running off of this 1200 watt, we'll never use even half of that. On the other side here, our long daisy chain of our fans coming down. I'm not truly happy about the cable management there, but we'll worry about it at a later date. We have our motherboard plugged in. We have our CPU plugged in in the back here. We have SATA run to our GPRisers.com solid state drive. We have power run to it as well, and everything goes ahead and goes back in. Now, if you're wondering, on the 1000G, it has six total VGA connections and then a boatload of SATA and CPU. Man, I wish it had more. I wish this thing had a lot more. Like it has some unnecessary connections in there. Like there's like four SATA and a bunch of other things, but well, we'll make do with what we got. So here is the remaining six then. So six over here and six over here. And then what we'll do is if uh, on, on some of these we're most likely gonna need it, we'll use a splitter and we'll go ahead and come off of one lead and we'll split one GPU and one um, of the GPU risers over here and we'll be set and ready to go. So let's get all of our risers installed and then it's time to do my favorite part of the build which is installing the GPUs.
All right, guys, it has been a long night, but this build is finally done. Oh my gosh, trying to get some of the cables through here was a nightmare. I didn't, even, I completely forgot how difficult it was to actually put 12 GPUs in this small frame. I don't know that I'll ever want to do that again, um, but it worked out great. I'm actually really thankful that these are like 6600s and they're not like 3080s or something because they would never fit. Like it just would be too crammed with all the cables and everything like that. Like I have 12 PCI cables. I can't imagine doubling that for some of these larger GPUs, which would be nuts. But we're set and good to go. All of our PCI cables here coming out of this power supply, we're powering six GPUs. This power supply on the left, powering six GPUs as well. We got our power powered on. On the back side, as you can see, we have our two power cables and our ethernet cable back there, which is awesome. But take a look at this, guys. We got our two ASUS, our two power colors, our two gigabytes, our Sapphire, our second Sapphire, then we have our XFX, another XFX, and then two of our ASRox, which is awesome. All right, you guys ready to power this on? Look, I even put a little button right here for a little dramatic effect. All right, let's go ahead and press our button in three, two, and one. Oh yeah. All right, QR montage. All right, miners, that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video. Huge shout out to the team over at GPU Risers. Check them out, guys, gpurisers.com. Well, what's next? We're not done with this YouTube series. So in our next video, we are going to be overclocking all 12 of these GPUs, going through how we're gonna do that, taking a look at our hash rate, taking a look at our wattage, and then finally, we'll do a deeper dive into the profitability of this rig. Well guys, I had a blast building this. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.